welcome to my youtube channel remember we are dealing with exam focused questions and today we are looking at the particle nature of matter we are going to look at eight questions you should expect on the particle nature of matter please watch this video to the end watch the video to the end so that you can take notes right now look at the eight questions over and over again you will be able to make distinction in your exam so let's take the first question distinguish between the forces of adhesion and cohesion b give one example each of the forces of adhesion and cohesion Adhesion is the force of attraction between molecules of different kinds. Why cohesion is the force of attraction between molecules of the same kind? Look at the word co. Co means mutual, the same. So cohesion is the force of attraction between molecules of the same kind. Why add Cohesion is the force of attraction between molecules of different kind. Now, example of adhesion is force of attraction between glass and water. You see different molecules, glass molecule, water molecule. The force of attraction between glass and water adhesion. Now, example of cohesion, force of attraction between mercury molecules. Mercury, mercury, that's mercury molecule. So example of adhesion is force of attraction between glass and water. Example of cohesion of is force of attraction between mercury molecule, that's same molecule. Question number two. Explain why water in a narrow glass tube has a concave meniscus. Why mercury in the same tube has a convex meniscus now water in a glass tube has a concave meniscus because the force of adhesion of water to glass is greater than, than the force of cohesion between water molecules if we go to mercury in a glass tube for mercury in a glass tube the force of cohesion between mercury molecules is greater than the force of adhesion between mercury molecule and glass. So the force of cohesion, same molecules that are together, is greater than the force of adhesion. But when you look at water in a glass tube, the force of adhesion between water and glass is greater than the force of cohesion between water molecules. This question can come out in another way. It can come out like this. Explain why mercury does not wet glass, why water wet glass. It still have the same answer. It can come out like that. Why mercury does not wet glass, why water wet glass. Mercury does not wet glass because the force of cohesion of mercury molecules is greater than the force of addition of mercury molecules to glass. Why water wet glass? Because the force of addition of water molecules to glass is greater than the force of cohesion. But if it's mercury, yes, you compare mercury and glass, the force of cohesion is greater than force of addition. Question number three. What is diffusion? List two factors that can affect the rate of diffusion. State C. State Graham's law of diffusion. D. Why is the rate of diffusion higher in gases than in liquid at the same temperature? Diffusion is the process by which substances mix with one another 
as a result of the constant random motion of their molecules. Graham's law of diffusion states that the rate of diffusion of a gas is inversely proportional to the square root of the density provided temperature remains constant. Question B. List two factors that can affect the rate of diffusion. Factors that can affect the rate of diffusion of a gas are mass, temperature, density, concentration of the substance, and pressure. And on D, why is the rate of diffusion higher in gases than in liquid at the same temperature? The rate of diffusion of a gas is higher in gases than in liquid at the same temperature because the molecular motion in gases are faster. Also, the intermolecular forces in gases, they are less than in liquid. Also, the density of gases is less than the density of liquid. Question 4. Please remember we are dealing with eight questions. Don't miss any of these questions. Please watch this video to the end. Question number four. What is surface tension? B. State two examples to illustrate the effects of surface tension. C. State two methods by which the surface tension of a liquid can be reduced. D. State two factors on which surface tension depends and e how can mosquito lava be made to sink in stagnant water this five question on that surface tension now what is surface tension surface tension is the force acting along the surface of a liquid causing the liquid surface to behave like a stretched elastic skin Let's take the examples to illustrate surface tension. Needle gently placed on surface of water is an example. Spilled mercury on a glass surface forms spherical droplets. Example 3. Soap bubbles form spherical shape. Water skaters are able to walk on surface of water as a result of Tension. Don't forget these examples. No, at least two. Needle gently placed on surface of water, spilled mercury on a glass surface. Then, C. State methods by which the surface tension of a liquid can be reduced. The surface tension of a liquid can be reduced by heating, two, by adding impurities such as soap, oil alcohol detergents so by adding impurities like soap oil alcohol detergent and by heating then d state two factors on which surface tension depends surface tension depends on two factors one the purity of liquid and two the temperature of liquid that's why if you want to reduce surface tension you heat by heating that's why it depends on temperature of liquid and also purity of liquid that's why if you want to reduce surface tension you apply detergent so the two factors are purity of liquid and temperature of liquid question five what is Brownian motion b state the two interferences that can be drawn from Brownian motion experiment c state three different materials that can be used to demonstrate Brownian motion now let's go to the answers what is Brownian motion Brownian motion is a rapid constant and irregular motion of tiny particles the two interferences that can be drawn from Brownian motions are one the existence of molecules two the kinetic motion of molecules. C. State three different materials that can be used to demonstrate Brownian motion. The materials that can be used to demonstrate Brownian motion are dust particles, chalk 
particles, smoke, pollen grains, carbon particles, potassium permanganate crystals. All this can be used to demonstrate Brownian motion. Number six, define angle of contact. B, draw sketches to show angles of contact for a capillary tube dipped vertically in I, water, I, I, mercury. A, let me define angle of contact. Angle of contact is the angle measured through the liquid between the walls of the container and the tangent to the meniscus. Okay, let's sketch the diagram. For angle of contact, I will draw the beaker. This is for water. Then put the capillary tube. Remember, water has concave meniscus. So I'll put the concave meniscus. This is for water with concave meniscus. So angle of contact is the angle through the liquid, through the liquid, between the walls of the container and the tangent to the meniscus. So this is the tangent to the meniscus. Then, then the walls of the container. So this is angle of contact. For mercury, I'll draw the beaker. This is for mercury. Then put the capillary tube. Mercury has convex meniscus. So I'll put the convex meniscus for mercury. Then the angle of contact is the angle through the liquid. It has to be through the liquid between the walls of the container. This is the walls of the container. And the tangent. So this is the tangent. This is the tangent. You draw it straight to show angle of contact. The angle through the liquid between the walls of the container and the tangent to the meniscus. Question number seven. List three phenomena which can be explained by the molecular theory of matter. B. State any three properties of matter which are common to all substances. Okay. The phenomena that can explain the molecular theory of matter are osmosis, diffusion, and Brownian motion. Don't forget osmosis, diffusion, and Brownian motion. Okay. Calculate the force required to lift a needle 4 cm long of the surface of water if the surface tension of water is 7.3 times 10 raised to power minus 2 newton per meter. Okay, we are given the surface tension. Let's use ST for surface tension. Surface tension is giving us 7.3 times 10 raised to power minus 2 newton per meter. Okay. And then the length L is giving us 4 cm. If you check, this is in cm, this is in meter. We we'll have to convert so that the two of them will be in the same unit. Let the length be 4 over 100 so that it will be in meters. Then the length L is going to be 0 0.04 meters. Okay, so we are asked to calculate the force. The force we are looking for F is what, let's put question mark, that's what we are looking for. We are going to use the formula that surface tension is equal to force over 2 times the length. That's the correct formula to use. Remember that surface tension is giving, length is giving, force is what we are looking for. Let's make force the subject of the formula. 
f is equal to the surface tension given times 2l so we are going to have the force to be equal to surface tension is given uh, minus 2 times 2 times 3 times 0. 0 raised to point zero 0.04 so if we calculate that we are going to have the force we are looking for f to be 5.8 times 10 raised to power minus 3 newton please always remember the unit so this is the final answer